Welcome back to Spray River Homestead and a happy belated Thanksgiving to everybody out there in viewer land. So we thought about this week, it's kind of like, ah, what do we want to talk about? And I had the question to Nikki when we had Thanksgiving yesterday here at the house, how much of our meal came off of our homestead? Not as much as I would have liked. So the question of this video is how much of a traditional homestead or a traditional Thanksgiving meal can actually come off your homestead. Now we have different flavors, and I think everybody does across the US, of what a traditional Thanksgiving meal entails. So I hit Google this morning and said, Google, what are the items on a Thanksgiving meal by tradition? So Wikipedia, I think that's what you went through. I did, I went to Wikipedia. Wikipedia said turkey and stuffing. Yep. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh-huh. Rolls. Yep. Cranberry sauce. Yep. And corn? Corn or some other vegetable. Or green beans. That and was And green beans, thing. yes, yes. Yeah. I think that was it. And, and it was yeah. and pumpkin pie. And pumpkin pie. You can't forget the pumpkin pie. Yeah. So the question is, how much of that can you raise on your homestead? Well, for us, I know we've done a turkey before. Yeah, where we ran into trouble is like I have still not successfully gotten green beans to grow here. Yeah. I can get the plants to grow, but the frost freeze cycle always gets them. Um, cranberries are another big thing. Yeah, that, that was I, a tough one. I've done a couple of American cranberry plants, and they make it for a while, but they don't really like the summer, and they don't really like the cold, cold, cold winter. The same thing with pumpkins. I, I've done really well with squash, but I've not successfully got a pumpkin to go all the way yet either. So let's see, we got turkey, stuffing, yes, right? You did croutons or you did, you do, uh... Yeah, you can make your own bread and make your own croutons. Okay. Uh, the onion that was in there came from the farm. The, uh, cause I did a sausage stuffing. It came off the farm. It was Italian rabbit sausage. Uh, the celery, of course, we had to buy. We can grow celery here, uh, not usually this late. And I didn't grow any this year, so I didn't have any dried to use or frozen. So we did have to buy that, but yeah. How about gravy? We don't eat gravy. <laughs> True I story. know we don't eat gravy. We don't eat gravy. But uh, yeah, it's, it, gravy is basically drippings and uh, turkey drippings and flour or whatever your thickener is. So yeah, you could. Okay, so corn we know we've struggled with. We've, we've said that for years. We would love to do corn, but by golly. One year, I got six <laughs> inch ears and I got like a dozen of them. And that's the best we've ever done. I know it. Let's see, green beans, like she said, eh, kind of come and go, mm -hmm. maybe hit or miss. Girls. Would you quit? Girls. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Rolls. Rolls. We did those, you did those from scratch, right? You did pumpkin yeah, rolls this year. Yeah, I did year. pumpkin rolls this year. Uh, canned pumpkin, naturally, because like I said, no pumpkin. Um, yeah, I mean, the rest of it is, you know, flour, sugar, uh, you know, salt, that kind of thing. So a lot of it, I'd say, what do you think? 50% can come off of our, at least our homestead. I won't say. What, the whole meal? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you probably could. You probably could. I think so. Because, like, we did, we did something different, right? So we actually did turkey. Right. Uh, we did corn. Yep. Canned corn. Uh, we did the rolls, we did sweet potato, or sorry, candy yams, Yep. which came out of the pantry. I had the candy, or the yams for a while, because we can't grow sweet potatoes here either, I've tried. Uh, they get about this long, and about this big around. <laughs> Just not enough good growing season. I'm going to play with those this year again, I'd, I'd like to get those. Um, cranberry sauce, uh, I did something called a three bean casserole. Which is like kidney beans and red beans, baked beans, lima beans, um, all mixed together. And we can grow some of that. We yeah. didn't. I'll admit, it all came out of cans. Um, but we could. Uh, what else did we have? That was about it. That was really broccoli. About it. We right. had cheesy broccoli. We didn't have deviled <laughs> eggs. We, we're going to do that tomorrow. Because this year we had to split it up. Uh, we had kind of uh, Nikki's parents down for Thanksgiving yesterday. And so Nikki cooked all yesterday and then tomorrow, uh, her brother is coming down with his family. They had to split it up this year. So we're having Bob. Now, if you remember Bob, I'll put a link up there, I think to the video where I showed Bob. He was our 52 
Wasn't he like 52 or 53 pounds live weight last year? Yeah, I butchered out at 45, I think, 40 yeah. something. So yeah, uh, Bob is finally getting cooked tomorrow. My mom is getting up at 5 a.m. To, yeah. to cook Bob on Saturday. Yeah, I think she's been thawing him for like six days. Yeah. It's, it's something long. I mean, it was like, really? Like, yeah, but. Well, but we have like 10 people that'll yeah. be there. So it'll, it'll be worth it. 10 or 11 anyway. So yep. yeah, that'll work. We're taking a bunch of our leftovers. I'm making mostly appetizers. So it'll be a little bit easier on me, but. And most of them are coming out of the rabbit cookbook that is almost done. Yes. And that was a big thing yesterday. Some of the things she cooked yesterday were rabbit items. Uh, probably not in everybody's traditional Thanksgiving, but they were from the rabbit cookbook. So we got to watch her parents eat them and kind of see what their reactions were. And They I thought th he was crazy. He starts taking pictures of the dinner on the table. Yeah, and they're like, to. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I had to. We needed them for the cookbook. So you just know. There's a couple items in there, off there, that we had at Thanksgiving yesterday, yeah. and those pictures are from dinner. Yeah, specifically the stuffing. Uh, and dessert, we did a crisp. All right, a pear. A, a caramel pear. pear crisp from some pears that that I canned a couple years ago. Uh, we don't have a pear tree, or we're working on it. We do have a couple that are starting to grow. Um, but my girlfriend in town has some really old, like 25, 30 year old pear trees. And uh, on good years, I go over there and get them all and can them all up. So we did that. And then for Christmas, we'll do apple pie. Because, again, I got apples from her. So we got uh, some apple pie filling a couple years ago. So I think that's it. So the question is, after you've watched this, put in the comments how much of your Thanksgiving dinner, whether you had one or two or however many, and or Christmas. We can include Christmas because we'll, we can talk about that later of what's coming off of our homestead for Christmas this year. But how much of your meal came off of your direct homestead or maybe a close friend, family member, kind of keep it, let's say it's not store-bought, how about that? Whether you bartered, traded for it, grew it yourself, how much came off of somebody you know, their homestead or farm versus going all the way down to a grocery store and buying it all? Yeah. Because I, I do, I think we ended up with about 50%. That's pretty good. So that's it for this time for Sprague River Homestead. Let us know. We want to know what you guys had for uh, dinner and how much you, you you raised or grew on your or some of you know's farm or homestead. We hope everybody had a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, hit those sales. <laughs> Homestead or stuff. Don't, whatever. Homestead stuff. Buy homestead stuff. Yeah, this is a boots good time. and stuff are on sale all over the place That's right, right now. So. Happy homesteading.